Hi! Welcome to Thunder Show and the most eye-popping moments of the past week. Today, we'd like to talk about surprises. Whether those surprises are pleasant or nasty depends on what side of the sights you're on. Let's get started. Chavez AW has made an ambush with their missile tank, and when a heli flew into the sights instead of an armored vehicle, they didn't want to play picky and spent a single missile for their team. And it was a great choice. The hit also took out an enemy Messerschmitt. The Ozzelot can handle aerial targets just as easily, but it's completely helpless against ground targets. This enemy is aware of the fact, so they simply ignore the tiny German vehicle. That was a total blunder because the driver locked onto an aircraft passing by and launched a missile straight into the ignorant face of the rocket launcher. And the prophecy said that tanks would start driving on the water like on dry land. And only you, the T-10 Ironsides, would be able to put a stop to it. Lay your tons of many on that which floats, and send it back into the dark abyss. In other words, yes, you can sink a floating BMP in War Thunder. Sometimes you and your friends chase a Junkers, and it's all fire and smoke already, living its last seconds. And then a couple of bombs drop out of it, and all of you make a nice little fireworks display. Three daredevil chasers with a single drop. The Chaika is the ultimate weapon. There's no convincing us otherwise. Zaxarik Zax takes this flying artifact of aircraft past to the skies and knocks down a chopper. When the skies clear up, they peer down to the ground. You might be able to spot some modern vehicles there. The Wiesel, the Martyr, the G6. But for the Chaika, those are just prey. And now let's check live War Thunder for some goodies. If the MiG-29 was an animal, it sure would have been a tiger. A beautiful, fierce, white tiger. Although those are extremely rare in nature, and there's very little we can do about it. Look how pretty this camo is. One more thing. Some comments ask us if a single player could be awarded for both a replay and a camo or a user mission. Well, yes, in theory, but we'd probably divide those between two episodes so that more people could get their well-deserved gold. Looking forward to your replays and cool creations on Live War Thunder. See ya!